everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to episode two of bite the arrow in which i watch an arrow video release and give you my thoughts so tonight's movie was uh, a favorite of mine i have to say and that's dead end driving so i'm a real fan of osploitation movies and i think this is a real hidden gem in that genre a lot of people will talk about the Mad Maxes and the other kind of exploitation, apocalyptic movies, and I think Dead End Driving often gets miss, uh, missed off those lists uh, unfairly. It's a bit more serious than, than the others, but uh, so what's it about Dead End Driving? So it's it's about a guy called Jimmy, aka Crabs, and there's a funny story on how he gets that nickname, and he basically takes his girlfriend to a drive-in cinema and when they get to the cinema there's a choice of what ticket you get i think you can pay like ten dollars or i think it's a lot lower three pound three dollars three fifty anyway but it's like the unemployed ticket which is kind of a, a false sense of luring into this trap and then basically once him and his girlfriend enter and pay the lower fee they're basically just going into an imprisonment. So this driving is actually a prison for like the for the lower class society. So there's a lot of social commentary in this movie, especially about the break society breakdown and uh, the media. Because at the beginning he's going around with his brother, who basically go to scenes of wrecks, and it's first on scene and they argue with the police of who can actually take ownership of the wreck, whilst there's like bodies and people dead on the street and. They're arguing the media and the police about who takes ownership of the wrecks rather than the bodies. It is crazy. Uh, so they get they get, they get into this uh, driving cinema to watch a movie and they start making out as as, as they do. If you go to a driving cinema and basically his his wheels are stolen, and he catches that the wheels are actually stolen by the police. So then he goes over to the main desk where he pays to get in to speak to kind of the the manager. And uh, he basically just starts saying, yeah, well, you, you're here now, and starts giving him tokens. And he, he, Jimmy, or Crabs, as I'll call him, gets really confused. So, like, why do I need food tokens? I'm going. And he's going, well, you're not going. So he's basically just this imprisonment. And as, you, as it, the story progresses, you find out that there's such an eclectic mix of characters, kind of like low-end society characters who are into your drink, your drugs, your sex, and all that, who basically get put to uh, un unknowingly into this imprisonment of what is a driving cinema where all they do is live in cars but they're given food tokens and they just get content i suppose with having this existence just existing in this imprisonment of this movie theater uh, driving theater it's so jimmy starts and you know getting to know the local i say the locals the the inmates can you call them out but the people in there and and it's what's done really well in here is such eclectic mix of characters and, and as they do in exploitation movies they have the real out there characters who you really do for certainly for me i are really drawn into and really enjoy that that real over the top acting which you do get in exploitation movies so uh like i said the police steal the wheels da 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 and Basically, Jimmy decides, no, or Krabs decides, I'm not staying in this thing. I'm not staying here. So then it, it's about him, how he escapes, to which then leads to a, uh, an end kind of car chase sequence. Very, very Mad Max style. A lot of the car designs in there are very Mad Maxy, post-apocalyptic, where things are stripped out and they're just made into homes. And it's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, so Jimmy, or Krabs, wants... Uh, wants out and it's about then how he plans to get out because all electric fences and he figures it out and then really that's that's kind of the story from then on is how he gets out so i'm going to give you some quick likes and as you probably can sense by what i'm saying i really do enjoy this movie i have a, like i said a soft spot for exploitation i think this is such a hidden gem uh of a movie i really do like the feel i like the cinematography it has a very much orange tinge to it it just feels very of its time 80s exploitation and it's like i said the cinematography is so well shot and there's the the action sequences are really outstanding especially at the end where there's the big car scene uh, i won't spoil the ending but it's certainly the, the car designs really are fantastic very like i said mad maxi and it, it just works it just really does work and uh 
the the prisoners, the, the, the lower end society were just content to be there. Like I said earlier, they're very eclectic characters and they, you just really warm to them. And you do, and I think Jimmy Krabs, uh, he does a really good job, a job as being the protagonist and kind of following him around. You he, he, he really do quickly warm to him as a character, so this is why it really pays off in the end. So a few dislikes. So to be honest, the only real dislike I did have on this was... There's a scene where a uh, when the police come in and they bring broken cars, but they bring a busload of uh, Asian uh, prisoners, if you want, and then there's kind of a revolt with the current inmates where they all gather together in the local diner, and there's just a scene of uh, kind of this racist scene, and they talk about them, and it just it, it really didn't fit, and it was like, but nothing more was explained about the scene or anything moved on from it, so I kind of feel that they they put this scene in, and then it maybe had maybe bad reception so they didn't continue to explore it but it just doesn't feel in place as, as you as you go through it. it it stands out so to me i don't really like that part of it but but i really do encourage people who have not seen dead in driving to go give it a watch if you're a fan of exploitation movies this will be right up your street and even if you're not give it a chance it's something different the covers don't really show exactly what it is uh it's probably misrepresentation the covers, but I really highly recommend you go watch this. So I'm going to wrap it up with my score, arrow score. So Dead End Driving gets a solid four arrows out of five. I just can't give it that extra arrow for five out of five, but it was just closely missed that. So there we go. Episode two in the bag. Next up is Slaughter High. So please come back and return. Uh, for the next series and if you like what this series is please comment subscribe like it's free you know so why not anyway hope you like the video and i'll see you all again soon cheers bye